What distinguishes this event from all the others that I go to and from the other networks that I'm part of is that it is a positive collaborative opportunity for the quote vendors or tool providers to work with academics and educators on shared problem solving. We've heard so much about the friction in terms of procurement and in terms of product design that prevents positive collaboration between tool providers and the end users. And I think that is a deep set of structural problems that need to be addressed if we want the technology to fully reflect the educational values of our institutions. And events like this create opportunities for the people who make the products, not the people who sell them, but the people who make them, the designers, the researchers who are embedding principles into those products and deciding which ones should happen and which ones should not, for them to work with the researchers inside higher education, with the administrators who are the decision makers about implementing products and tools, that's a really unusual and important collaborative opportunity for us. And that's why I'm excited to be here. You know, I gave one of the lightning talks yesterday and I was talking about how we want to understand student behaviors. Um, I got connected with somebody I'd been reading his papers for a long time, so Rene. Um, and uh, we're going we're gonna to possibly work together. We're going to begin the conversation at least. So I won't say that we have a project or anything like that worked out, but uh, that connection will probably be very important for us. Yeah. I've had some really good conversations with uh, various people, other researchers, uh, vendors, tool providers, about how we could leverage um, the data that's available, the, the technology that's available, with the scientific insights that we have, uh, and, and move forward in understanding better how to support learners. Um, one interesting thing that, that did come up out of this for us, um, based on what, what, what was going to happen here, we actually ended up in conversations with somebody who would be a natural competitor of ours, which is Smart Sparrow. We're having conversations, even though they weren't here, we're having conversations with them separately to look at how they, they've seen the work that we've done with UCF and they want to know how they can become involved. And so it, it, we're starting to look at what are the common problems that we have? How can we move beyond talking about vendor versus vendor and start to look at some of the common problems that we have and, and how we can work together? So that's been pretty interesting. We have been really focused on trying to close the online achievement gap in our system. And we've done a lot of the, the work that we can do with the existing capabilities we have, but we're at a point where we need a further, a deeper layer of research to help us understand what kinds of practices or tools or approaches that we need to employ to really close that gap between different groups. And you know, as our, our state moves forward and our system continues to grow, it's a big priority to be able to have more equity for students that come from all kinds of backgrounds in our system. So having a partnership with some of these institutions really helps us to go to a new level that on our own, you know, we would be doing the iterative research and you know, practice-based stuff, but it's, it's helpful to have um, just a, you know, take that to a new level. We are interested in working uh, together on understanding how dashboards can be improved for students and instructors, uh, how to give better feedback to teach us or for how to support students and to make sure that dashboards have the intended effects and not negative unintended side effects that, that they may have today uh, when, for example, labeling students as at risk, uh, which can lead to negative spirals uh, if it isn't done in a psychologically safe way. We're talking about conversations that have just happened over the past 24 hours, but I was particularly inspired by the work that Carnegie Mellon is doing in the area of um, mixed methods research about instructional practices, about faculty challenges and opportunities. Um, I loved what they've done with the institu Institutional Review Board, the IRB, in lowering the barrier to entry for doing learning science research in classes. And I would love to partner with them to figure out how we can benefit from their experience and their pioneering efforts to both protect student privacy and student interests, but also responsibly learn from what is happening in the classroom and share what we are learning with the broader community. That's the balance I think we need to strike, and they seem to have figured out how to do that in a really novel way. So that's one that I'm really excited about. We have some really early stage conversations happening um, with Duke, sort of arising out of dinner last night, seeing some places where we've got some intersections in work that we might look to, to cross leverage one another's uh, both projects and existing infrastructure. 
Um, we also have uh, some interesting work. It looks like it may be developing with UC Davis um, around what kind of evidence can we start pulling from existing LMSs and Canvas in this case because we're both Canvas shops. And on the one hand, you know, Marco and I have been longtime collaborators, We've done lots of different projects together, but I'm not sure that this specific piece would have bubbled up if we hadn't both been sitting here and hearing about uh, where some of the needs were and, and where we were lacking information. I think there's a real openness to build trust. I think there's a real desire to solve common problems and use the resources that we have at our disposals to help solve as many problems as we can. And, um, you know, particularly for a company like Pearson, I think what we really want to do is help support drive and drive change in learning. And it's only through collaboration with other vendors and with academic institutions, practitioners and researchers who, who work within those that we're going to do that. And um, if there are ways that we can use the things that we've developed to help other people make change faster or if we can learn more about things we need to do differently so that we can help them be more effective in terms of what they do, then that is an incredible thing to have achieved as a result of being part of this network. <laughs>